19-year-old boy King Tutankhamun, who died and was mummified 3,300 years ago, was a child of an incestuous marriage. I really believe that the reason for the deformities and the weakness in the bones came because Akhenaten, his father, married his full sister. This could be a reason. But the biggest revelation is that he was not murdered, as was popularly believed by Egyptologists. The thing that caused his death is the severe malaria that DNA found. And you know, in 2005, I found out that he had deformed, he had a fracture in his left leg, that an accident happened to him a few hours before he died. The study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association provides the firmest family tree yet for Tut. It was common for siblings to wed each other in ancient Egypt that caused genetic deformities. He had really severe uh, uh, necrosis. He had in the toe and the left foot deformities. And it, sw it was swollen and severe pain. And this is why he was limping. He cannot walk normally. This is in his tomb. Howard Carter found 130 sticks that he was using to walk. And also we have a scene showing him shooting an arrow, sitting. If he's a normal man, he would be standing. So for the records, Egypt's most famous pharaoh, King Tutankhamun, a frail boy who walked with the help of canes, suffered from a cleft palate, club foot, and died of complications from a broken leg exacerbated by malaria. Bureau Report, NewsX.